You know, I've got to stop opening blogs in robes. Bonjour, I've made it to Paris. I, I've just come back from a very long day and I have 15 minutes to get ready for dinner so I thought I'd just give you a very quick update. So got up at the absolute crack of arse this morning. I was on the Eurostar 8am. What I will never understand is why they make you get to the Eurostar 90 minutes before you leave when the security takes 10 minutes. And that's not even an exaggeration. Every time I've been to Paris, the security has been... Hmm. Like there's tighter security getting into McDonald's and like Leicester Square on a weekend than there is on the Eurostar. So I had a lot of time to kill. Anyway, we made it. We checked into ugh, into the hotel. I am at Bon... no. I'm at Bons Bonsoir Madame. Hotel Bonsoir Madame. It's very, very sweet. It's almost like a boutique -y hotel. Obviously, I will show you around the room. And then we went to Le Louvre, grabbed like a wee baguette or whatever on the way. And we got there and we started queuing. And then some a French man started shouting very, very aggressively at all of us and telling everybody to move. And they'd found a mysterious package. So that was interesting. Anyway, we were not to be deterred by that. So we went and queued at the underground like if you go into the shopping bit underneath, there's like the, I think it's called the, I don't know, there's the shopping bit of Lulu, and you can queue in there. So we spent an afternoon wandering around, which was very nice, you know how much I love my art. Then came back to the hotel at about five-ish. Instead of having a nap, but I knew that would throw me off. Just redoing my hair and makeup, I've had a quick shower, and now I need to get ready to go out for dinner tonight. So that's about it. That's all I've done today so far. I've clipped this to my hair. Um, yeah, depending on how I decide to edit this, you will either see a montage of my day after I'm done talking to you, during me talking to you, or maybe just edit it over the top of my voice. I haven't done that one yet, so maybe I'll do a bit of that. God, this is really fucked. Good morning. Would you like to see the view from one of my windows? I actually have three windows that open. Okay, this is view one. And if we go to the other window. Look at this beautiful sunny morning in Paris. So we went out last night for a very, very traditional Parisian slash French dinner, which was really, really yummy. I had snails and beef and all the other good stuff. So I didn't sleep very well. I don't know if it was the alcohol or because I still don't feel 100% right, but I kept having loads of nightmares, which sometimes does happen if I have certain spirits. I need to look into that, actually. This morning, got up, went out for breakfast very quickly, got check out, and then we're going to go to a salon to go and get our hair done with all our Kristoff products. I don't know if it's a Kristoff... Roban salon itself or just one that they work with but I'm looking forward to having my hair washed and styled seeing as you guys know how much I hate my current haircut so I'll be happy for somebody to style it so that I like it which will be nice I'm here on this trip with Anissa and Polina who are both absolutely lovely I've been on quite a few trips with Anissa before actually every time we see each other it's at some random thing we met 
uh, I think last year Penhaligons took us to the Wilderness Reserve, that's the first time I've met her, and then we've run into each other on several trips and events since then, so it was really nice to see her. And it's the first time I've met Polina, but she's also absolutely lovely, so I think after our hair's done, the three of us are going to find somewhere to sit and have coffee and just people watch until we have to get the Eurostar. Maybe we'll do a little bit of shopping, but that's really the plan for today. Then I'm heading home. I get home at about 8pm tonight, and then I have a very full-on day tomorrow in London which I will vlog as part of this vlog because we're doing a week vlog. We're gonna do Paris, London, Paris. I think that's the plan. So that's it for morning two of Paris. I will catch you guys probably when I'm back in London. Typically I've been notoriously useless and when I woke up this morning I was going to film to talk about where I was going, what I was doing. I was even going to do a fit check, okay? It's now half past three, I've done all of my morning stuff and my afternoon stuff and I've changed into comfy clothes. Bar my jeans, but my jeans are very comfy, look at how baggy they are. These jeans are Jerf Avenue and they are the best things ever. Anyway, let's pretend it's the morning, shall we? So this morning I went for my Murad facial. I went for breakfast at Berners Tavern, which was lovely, I love that place. And I have a lot of congestion in my skin because of this whole hormonal issue. She really focused on extracting all of that. Um, we did a Hydra facial with all of the good Murad stuff. God, this jumper is so fucking disgusting, it needs a wash. Anyway, then I went for a follow up with my endocrinologist and all of my bloods came back normal. He said my thyroid looked on the sluggish side, but I need to go back to get another follow-up just to see. Um, but originally we assumed I had high testosterone, but that came back normal. So I've been... been given some medication to try that's actually for people with heart failure. So if I happen to have heart failure, then it's a win-win. But <laughs> basically if you don't have heart failure, what it does is reduce the it reduces your testosterone or the effects that you get from testosterone. So my doctor was saying that they were giving it to men with heart failure and these men were growing breasts, so that's how they figured it out. So I'm hoping it's gonna reduce some of the symptoms, including acne. And when I got the information leaflet on it, apparently it helps with hair loss. My hair's always fallen out because I do have a lot of hair, but I have noticed it is getting slightly thinner. I don't know whether that's baby hair or not. But I'm just going to set you up here because it's easier. I'm going to take whatever the hell this random medication is. The reason I wanted to take this one is because it doesn't actually mess with your cycle. So the other options were to take a mini pill or some other things, but I don't want to do that. I want to take something that doesn't affect my cycle and my hormones in that way. So we'll see how that goes. I need to pack for Paris tomorrow. Henry the intern is coming with me, so I'm going to get him to vlog. Let's, and then I have my jaw physio tonight, which will be interesting. It is a beautifully sunny day, so I should probably get some fresh air and go for a walk. We went to a local place just for lunch in the sun, which was quite nice. We also packed and shipped all of the orders from Sunday Sticker Drop, which is exciting. We don't have ski rhubarb or Wimbledon rhubarb anymore, but we did add polo rhubarb. So if you would like some stickers, hang on. If you would like your very own rhubarb for, I don't know, your phone case, your laptop, just a stick all over your house because you like looking at her. You can go to the rhubarbsociety.co.uk and get some cute little stickers. I also got a video from the supplier about the enamel key rings. I've just paid for the cap shipment and I'm a little bit worried because we haven't seen a sample properly and the only way they'll give us a sample is if we pay for the uh, MOQ up front, which makes me nervous, but fingers crossed. So. We're also currently rhubarb free, which is really sad. I kind of miss her running around and being grumpy, but she is with her grandparents because both Henry and I are going to Paris together. So she's having a nice little staycation, bless her. So anyway, that's my update. I'm sorry I didn't get a proper outfit check today. I completely forgot.
Bonjour, good morning. It is day two, I guess, in Paris of my second trip to Paris with uh, Trudeau. So I didn't have much time to film yesterday. It was pretty jam-packed. So I got the Eurostar first thing in the morning and we arrived. We went for lunch at Sinner, which was really yummy. I will say in the middle of the day, there's not a lot going on. A uh, very quiet vibe, but the food was delicious. The loos are some of the darkest loos I've ever been into. And the loo roll was black. So that was interesting. Um, and then we came back and we checked into Hotel Kos, which is where I am now. This is the hotel. I'm obsessed with this hotel. It is so chic. It's so Parisian. All of the wallpaper is hand embroidered. And when I first walked in, I was like, oh, this is a little bit much weird print. And then I ran my hands over it and you can feel every single bit of embroidery. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm currently in the bathroom, but I will show you. We have a view out over sort of the courtyard area. It's so pretty. Just such a stunning, beautiful morning. Look, I've caught someone taking selfies in this window. This feels slightly voyeuristic. Maybe I should stop. I wonder if someone's filming me filming them. <laughs> Damn, she's really working it. Good for her. Anyway. So we've got the little courtyard down here, which is covered. We went here last night and had some drinks and cigarettes before we went to the event. And after we had our little pre-event drinks, we went to um, we went to the National Archives, which is insane. It's the most ridiculous building you've ever seen. Then we had a guided tour to learn about sort of uh, Marie Antoinette and the revolution and it's all, all the historical documents. It was literally insane. And then at the end of the tour, it was just room after room after room stuffed with the most organized, well-kept documents you've ever seen. It was like the world's biggest library. It was super cool. So I'm here with Trudon. We're celebrating their 380th birthday, which is kind of nuts. They are the oldest candle maker in the world. But they just released a new scent inspired by Marie Antoinette and her rose garden. So the event was held at the bottom of the National Archives and it was sort of a big drinks party in this very grand, beautiful room. The creative director was there, the CEO was there. They sort of gave a speech. They spoke about how actually their partnership with the National Archives really helped with a lot of stuff because they found documentation that proved that Trudon were the royal candle maker and they'd been making candles up until the last king, queen of France. And basically their history is steeped in so much of France. So that's really cool. And then we came back to the hotel and sort of had a nightcap. I the thing about hotel costs is it just has a really, really good atmosphere. I can't describe it. It's very moody and sexy, but it's so buzzy at the same time. So we had food um, in the restaurant, but you could see out over the courtyard and it was just rammed. It's just such good people watching. We ordered the fries, crispy ducks. We had a few margaritas. We also had their cheesecake, which they're famous for, which is delicious if you like actual cheesecake that tastes like cheese. Um, so we sort of stayed up eating and drinking, which was really nice. And then this morning we went for a little stroll to go and get pastries. We wanted to go to, I can't remember what it's called, we wanted to go to Cedric. Anyway, the really famous pastry chef who wanted to go there, but it was close. We went to Angelina's. We picked up some hot chocolate, we picked up a croissant. We went for a very nice stroll, sort of walked all the way to one of the main Trudon stores. They really know what they're doing. They are just so aesthetically pleasing in every way. We went upstairs, had a little coffee, a little nibble, and slowly sort of walked our way back through Paris to the hotel. We're just about to check out. Henry and I delayed our train home so that we could spend a bit longer in Paris. We're about to do a bit of shopping. I'm gonna try and find those Chanel sling bags that have been evading me in London. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll know the drama I've had with Chanel recently, and I shouldn't be giving them my money, but I really want these shoes. So I'm hoping the Parisian Chanel assistants will be more helpful and far friendlier than the ones in London. Well, Londoners get a bad rep for being rude, but so do Parisians, so I can't decide who's going to be ruder, so we'll find out. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, then we're going to find somewhere good to sit have a really nice full late lunch, do some people watching and slowly make our way back to Gare du Nord to go home. The one thing I will say about this hotel is how outrageously expensive everything is. We ordered two breakfast teas this morning. Um, it cost 20 euros. We asked for English breakfast tea and it cost 20 euros. It's the most insanely expensive cup of tea I've ever had in my life, but I guess they can get away with it. So yeah, I should probably pack because we actually do need to check out in probably 10 minutes. Um, I guess next time we see each other, I'll be in London, so.